Well, I should probably mention that this was originally problem 29, but we made some changes to the test. There were a couple of force questions in there that we didn't, um, we haven't covered force yet. So I got rid of those questions. So whatever question this is, let's just do, let's do this. <laughs> so as a flight instructor, this is like 27, I think now. Um, a flight instructor makes uh, the following statement. An aircraft's velocity vector, vector can change direction uh, through the use of controls that moves. I don't know what that word is um, on the wings. I think those are the little things um, or both. All right. And then it says... Um, which of the following best summarizes and then they give us some options right and so let's just go through some of these options and then try to figure out what they mean so we what what we have to do is a change in direction is a form of acceleration, right? So that's really how we've got to think about the physics part of it. That's what they want you to understand is that acceleration is a change in velocity, but velocity is a vector, right? And so since velocity is a vector, um, what does that mean? So it'll say, uh, is it how to slow down the plane? Well, that's certainly a vector. Yes. Yes. Um, does it have to do with in case of an evacuation? Does that have anything to do? So they are kind of trying to make it seem like it's a flight instructor question. But the physics part is remember that a change in direction is an acceleration. So if you're not sure which one it is, and some of these are intended to be misguiding, and some of them are going to be very close. So this has absolutely nothing to do with acceleration. So that's not it. Okay, how to slow down, that's an acceleration. Okay. Um, the next one is how to turn the plane. Well, that's an acceleration. I should have copied the whole question if I'm honest. Um, it says how to speed the plane up. Um, that's definitely an acceleration. And then lastly, how to turn on the cabin lights. Well, that's not an acceleration. So now we've narrowed it down to these three, how to turn, how to speed up. Um... Well, the real question is, which one do you guys think it is? Yeah. 
well, this is kind of a flight, but what does the rudder or the tail of the plane do? Yeah, it causes it to turn. So speed up would work, but that they're not talking about, if, if you want to speed up the plane, you just make the jets go faster, increase the thrust. They don't talk about the thrust, so it's not speed up. Um, there are air brakes, and that doesn't involve the rudder or the tail. So the rudder on the tail is the little the little flap on the back of the tail that does this, that helps turn the plane. So the answer is to turn the plane. And the reason that it's a physics question is when we use the word acceleration, we almost always assume that acceleration means to speed up, which it does mean that, or to slow down. Or change direction. Those are three examples of acceleration. And they tell you right here, change direction. Does speeding up change direction? No. Does slowing down change direction? No. You're still going in the same path. The only one that changes direction is to turn. Okay. That's a good question, kind of. It just makes you think about it, that's all. All right.